Hey there, how you doing today? I had my hair cut into a bob a couple of weeks ago and I had it cut so that I could let it dry naturally and go into its natural wave. And I've really enjoyed that when I've scrunched it up and let it dry naturally. But a lot of times I am super lazy and I will do my shower at night because I like going to bed clean and I just let it dry naturally and then I wake up in the morning and it looks like this. So, I'm gonna show you how I style it. I like to use the minimal amount of heat on my hair. So honestly, if I were not being photographed or going to a job interview or, you know, out in public or anything, I'd just leave it be like this, because it's fine. Uh, let's run a brush through it. When I got my hair cut in my bob, I have always, I've always parted my hair on this side. And when I had it cut this time, I've noticed that my hairline has gotten really high up in here. So when I had it cut, I decided to switch to this side. But if I part my hair on this side, I've got two completely different colors of hair. So when I had it cut, I had my, told that to my hairdresser. And so we have a slightly off center part which is a weird part that's not quite really any normal part, but it's so that I can have the same color hair on both sides. Yeah, I know, but these are the things that you need to talk to your hairdresser about when you have your hair cut, because we are all different. We are all individuals and our hair, our gray pattern, if you're graying, is completely unique in your own and so you should figure out how you want it to fall when you get it cut. Okay, let's style. This is some um, Better Not Younger heat protective spray. I've been using a lot of Better Not Younger hair products and am liking them so far. I use this tool that came out like in the 90s, no, 2000s. Anyway, this tool is called an InStyler, and some of you may have them, some of you may not. I, I find it's a really easy way to style my hair, but uh, to each his own. So this is what I'm using today is the InStyler. And I usually go for a mid-level heat on that. So let's let it heat up. Generally, when my hair is about halfway dry, I will run some Olaplex styling cream through it, uh, mostly because I bought it one time, and it just, it makes it look a little smoother. Uh, I don't use it when I'm wearing my hair curly. I use a curl enhancing lotion, but when I'm wearing it just more casual and just like slightly waved or turned under like I'm about to do, I just feel like it makes the ends a little smoother and not so frizzy. So just gonna style the back for now. Let's get this first chunk. Let's just get that out of the way. Sometimes I flip it up, sometimes I flip it under. Sometimes I flip it one way and then it goes a completely different way because it has a mind of its own. And I have learned that it's best to just make peace with it. Just like whatever it decides to do, go, okay. So you wanna do that today? Great. Don't fight it, go with it. Okay, so we're gonna take the InStyler. What I like about the InStyler is it's if your hair has a little dampness, like it does from this, the heat protective spray, it's fine. It'll dry it while it's doing it. Mm 
I'm going to do the impossible here and try to do this so that I can't see, but you can. So you can see what's nice is you can do it while you're not even looking. And of course, most people do this with a blow dryer. You would do the exact same thing, basically. That could use a little bit more. Now the front piece most people want to do it the same exact perfect curve, and I like a little bit of an S wave to it. So I will always take this. And just give it that little bit of a flip. That's how I style my bob that was cut to be curly, but most times I'm too lazy to let it dry naturally and stay curly. So <laughs> I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I love you bunches. I will talk to you very soon.